All right, so we just pulled up to Rejuvenator headquarters, AKA Many Worlds, and we brought them a special pair of shoes. We recently picked up this pair last week and I bought it off someone who has been holding them since he picked them up for retail at the Space Camp release. It's a grail for many collectors out there. So Brandon said he picked these up, but when he said he picked them up, I thought he meant he got a new pair. He did get a used pair. Although they are in good condition, these things have definitely seen better days. The uppers in the suede have gotten torched a little bit. Just some stuff that we don't feel comfortable cleaning, which is why we brought it to the professionals here over at Rejuvenator and at the Mini World's headquarters. So we heard that Vic is in house today, which is really good news because I don't know, I would argue he's one of the best in the business, Brandon. Yeah, he's, he's, he's good at what he does. He's a humble guy, so I'll speak on his behalf and he's really that guy when it comes to it. So we're gonna see what he can do on the sneaker line. We know that the people over at Rejuvenator are gonna get us right and help us clean these up. So let's go talk to Vic and we'll see what he can do. Well, we brought you the 2.0s and it's a good shoe. Have you ever cleaned cool these shoe. before? I cleaned the original pair twice, the new pair once, these always cleaned up nicely. It's That's a good shoe, man. It's a great shoe. That is That's huge. Great shoe. For sure, bro. I got you. The suede's good, uh, good quality. The netting always goes back to that original tone. It's gonna be a good clean. So basically, what we need to do is clean up the insides, of course, outsides. Get this uh, mesh material back to its original white color. Same thing with the suede. I can see there's stains back here. We got to get all that stuff out. Reshape the sneaker overall. The cork insole isn't that bad. Soles aren't that bad, but gonna get in there. I wanna make these shoes look as clean and make them look dead stock, dude. I want you to get top dollar for these. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. exactly what we want. Couple days, dude, come back, you're gonna look brand new. Awesome. Sweet. All right, Bryson. Thank you, bro. Brandon, good to see you guys. So as you guys just saw, the homies Brandon and Bryson from Common High dropped off these rare, but beat Tom Sachs. I believe they only paid 1400 bucks, which is a great price. Common Hype are great friends from us, so I'm gonna make these shoes look as brand new as possible so they can get top dollar. So without further ado, let's get it started. So for today's cleaning, we're gonna be using our essential shoe cleaning kit. This is gonna be the fourth time that I've cleaned these Tom Sachs. I cleaned the 1.0s years back in 2014. They're very similar to the 2.0s, so we're not gonna be putting them in the washing machine because they have delicate materials. We're gonna start out by taking out our laces and insoles. Next step, we're gonna grab our shoe trees, adjust them to size. These are a size 11, so we're gonna put it to second to last hole. All right, that's good. That's gonna help us apply pressure to the toe boxes during the cleaning. Now we're gonna grab our four ounce bottle solution and squirt two squirts inside our bowl of water. As always, before we start cleaning the shoe with some water and solution, we're gonna grab our air compressor and blow off any surface dust or debris on the mesh and the suede before we push it deeper in with our brush. Good to go with the air compressor. Before we wet the shoe, there's one more thing we gotta do. We gotta use our dry suede kit. On the sneakers, there's a few marks that I wanna try using the eraser first to break it down before I start using solution on those areas. Glad I used the suede kit for this step. It definitely helped remove some of the marks. It's gonna make it a lot easier to scrub off with solution. Real quick though, I'm gonna grab the air compressor one more time and blow off any eraser debris. Now let's get on to the cleaning with some solution and water. Usually I start the cleaning with the uppers and work my way to the soles, but this time I'm gonna do the hardest part first, which is the soles. We're gonna go straight to using the brass bristle brush. This brush will do the trick when it comes to the rubber soles. Hardest part of this cleaning is completely done. These soles look flawless. Now let's focus on the uppers. We had a clean new mat and a fresh bowl of water. We eliminated the grimy stuff from the soles. Let's squirt some more solution into our fresh water. So to continue the cleaning, we're gonna be using our soft bristle brush. We're carefully gonna brush the suede and the mesh. First, we're gonna focus on one shoe first. First we'll start with the insoles. We got our cork ones and the white ones. The cork ones ain't really that bad. We're gonna give them a nice wipe down. The white ones do need a little work. We wanna get these back to as white as possible. So for both of these insoles, we'll be using our medium bristle brush. 
Insoles are fully scrubbed. Right now we're gonna go to the sink and rinse out all the water and soap. Real quick, before we do that, we're gonna grab our laces and give them a good scrub inside our bowl of water and solution. All right, let's go to the sink and rinse this stuff out. Shoes are fully dried and we got some great results. The mesh is back to being clean. Same thing with the suede. This is some good quality suede because it's not faded. The color is actually a bit more rich after the cleaning. The insoles also came out good. Same thing with the laces. The white mesh looks great, but it can still get a bit whiter. The next step we're gonna do is grab our medium bristle brush. One thing that I did while the shoes were drying, every 10 minutes or so, I would grab the brush and brush the suede all around while it was wet. That helped the suede not be as crunchy once the shoe was fully dried and the trick really worked. The suede is pretty soft, but it can still get softer. So we're gonna go over the suede one more time and get it buttery soft with a medium brush. the details like I told the boys I want to make these shoes look brand new so over here on the midsole there is some creasing going on with the heat gun we're gonna remove that we want to be careful with this part because we apply too much heat we will cause separation and that'll mean more work got the little creasing out not too hard we still have more details to go on the inside of the tongues all around the edges you see a lot of sock line or lint we're gonna go in with some scissors to cut all that stuff off. While we're at it, we're gonna cut off all the little loose threads all around the sneakers. Again, we wanna make these shoes look perfect. So far, so good. Details are complete. Now we're gonna put these shoes inside the Vic 2000. We're gonna let them sit for a good 12 hours. Let the UV rays do its magic. The shoes don't look that bad on camera. In person, it'll make a difference. Let's put them in the Vic 2000. Got the shoes out of the Vic 2000. The UV rays did a great job winding all the areas on this shoe. The insoles and the laces widen up pretty noticeably. The last step we're gonna do with some rejuvenator mink oil and our horsehair brush, we're gonna bring back some of the missing color on the brown suede. We're gonna apply a nice thin even coat all around the brown suede. We'll brush it in with the horsehair brush and then reapply if needed. All done with these shoes, now let's lace them up. All right guys, that is gonna bring us to an end on these Mars VR shoe 2.0s. We had to take the correct steps on cleaning up this shoe. At the end of the day, this is a really expensive sneaker and I didn't wanna ruin them. So we used our dry suede kit and our essential shoe cleaning kit to remove all the marks on the suede and widen up the mesh. We also used the Vic 2000 to brighten up the colors and give it an extra pop. Next, I grabbed the heat gun to remove this little creasing that was on the midsoles. Wasn't too noticeable, but it made a difference. Everything else was just details. We got rid of every single piece of lint inside of the shoe and the tongue. For the soles during the deep clean process, I made sure I got in there into every little crevice to make this shoe look as clean as possible. Brandon and Bryson should have no problem getting top dollar for these sneakers. We achieved these results by using our products. Head over to rejuvenator.com and use my promo code down below to save some money. Shout out to Common Hype for stopping by. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Vic Almighty. I'll catch you guys next Monday. See you guys.